Ya. Yeah. <laughs> You look great, bro. <laughs> so he's got you doing the camera now? Yeah. Well, trying yeah. to, try, oh, okay, so. It's your first day. Uh -uh. Yeah, nice. You're a rookie. Hey, welcome to this business. You're a rookie. I've been here, I've been here since I was 13. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Uh -huh. She's a chip off the old <laughs> block. Don't do it. I Don't, do it. Don't do it. Don't do the crime if you can't do the time. Don't do it. All right, hashtag PVT, what is up? AJ Castillo on the, on, what's going on, my How you man? Doing, man? Thank you for having me. Yeah. It's an honor to be here with uh, you, bro. It's an honor to have you here, bro. Yeah. And we're here at Alubel Studios, oh, and uh, you're in the Rio Grande Valley, South Texas, man. Yes. And you're recording a new album, man. Tell me what you're doing, man. What's going on? I actually recorded a live album. We mm -hmm. recorded a live album in Lubbock, mm -hmm. and I wanted to put some bonus tracks on it. Okay. So I'm working with this producer out of Miami, Bob, you know Bob. Bobo. Bobo. And yeah. so he hit me up and we, we started communicating. We're going to do this project. And I said, man, I'm working on a live album. I want to do some bonus tracks. Will mm -hmm. you work with me? He's like, hell yeah. That's awesome. And so he's like, man, we got to get you to the studio here in McAllen. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, well, I record in Austin and San Antonio. He's like, well, you got to come check out the vibe here in McAllen. Mm -hmm. So I was like, shit, well, might as well. Yeah. So we came down here, came to Alabil Studios. Yeah. And the vibe here is incredible. Yeah. Chewy, all the staff here is yeah. it's awesome, man. Yeah, dude. You don't make it down here this far too often, nah, do you, brother, bro? It's crazy, man. What's like, up this is with the that? only I mean, place. Yeah. I don't know, you tell me. <laughs> no. I mean, it's uh, it's interesting because I've seen your product, I've seen your mm -hmm. your your music, your image. It's one of those uh uh, you know, the type of music that is pretty much uh, transcends a lot of different yeah, age, yeah. age demos. I noticed that you're a lot playing a lot in the Panhandle, mm -hmm. Austin. You even just mentioned you were in Florida and Atlanta. In Florida. So you're, you're traveling all over. We got to get you down here in the Rio yeah, Grande Valley, man. bro. Yeah, it's been, a, I think, two years since I've been to uh, the Valley. We did a show in, uh, there's a big festival down, Mm -hmm. There's a big, big Mexican festival here in, it's not McAllen, Hidalgo, is it Hidalgo? Yeah, yeah, Border Fest. Border Fest, that's yeah. what I did, like two years ago, two or three years ago. Mm -hmm. I opened up for La Mafia, and that mm -hmm. was an awesome show. Yeah. And that was the last time I was here. Yeah. But we need to come back, man. You sure do, yeah, man. man. So how's the industry been treating you, bro? You're celebrating 10 <laughs> years in the biz, right? It's, yeah, no, it's 2009 be, You're was, right, you're right, brother. Yeah. I, I've, been, I've been doing it for 10, I recorded my record. And I came out in 2009. But how I, old were you back then, man? How old do I look right now? Well, you look uh, you look pretty young. You I'm look four, like in your early I'm 30s. Nah, yeah, dude. Brother. No, you're not 27, nah, brother, I'm bro. Early 30s. If you, if you are, who's your doctor? I nah, need to right? find out who is your... Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. no, I'm, I'm uh, 32. Yeah. 32. So, so then... Don't tell nobody. 22 years old. Yeah. So that you know what, twenty two is kind of like a, a, a late starter in this business, right? Because I've well, talked with a lot of artists, yeah. and you know they're fifteen, fourteen, thirteen. You actually started playing music at a very young age, or an Brother, accordion. Brother, I, I right? started playing accordion when I was nine years old. Yeah. You know, I was traveling. Well, not traveling. My dad and my dad and uh, my uncles they had a local band in Austin called mm -hmm. Rumores, mm -hmm. and so they played at quinceañeras, weddings, and mm -hmm. you know, you know all the local events. Yeah. So I would go with them with my dad. My dad played the sax. It was like more orchestra music. Yeah, with so, horns and all yeah, that? Yeah, horns, trumpets, stuff, keys, bro. all that. So, Man, you hear a lot of different elements yeah, brother, in the that's, music, Yeah, that's bro. what I grew up in, man. Yeah. And I started about five years old going with them, running the lights and doing different things. Mm -hmm. And when I was nine years old, I told my dad, I want to play accordion. I want to learn how to play accordion. Mm -hmm. So he didn't want to buy me an accordion. So my grandpa had an accordion. My grandpa Lupe had an accordion. He let me borrow it. I started playing. I thought it was going to be, I thought two weeks, a month, and I'm mm -hmm. going to be ready for the stage. Yeah. Hey, vamos a la chinga. Hell no, man. it was hard, brother. <laughs> yeah. Like, like the accordion, people don't understand how hard the accordion is. It's one of the hardest instruments in the world. Yeah. So, years and years of practice, man. And I was playing with the local band with Rumores. When I was 15, I became the the permanent accordion player. I started playing the whole show. You know, mm -hmm. before that, I was playing one or two songs a gig, but then uh, I started getting better. And started improving, so I took over the, the show when I was 15 years old. And I started playing accordion, I started playing keyboards, and uh, after a while I was running the whole thing. Yeah. So, 
So you were born in 1986, man, right? Yeah, somewhere around there. In Austin, Texas? Austin, Texas, brother. Wow, and uh, went through the Austin School District? And Austin School District, What man. schools did you attend over there, I bro? went to, for real, you asking me that? I went yeah. to Allison Elementary. Yeah. I went to Porter Middle School and Crockett High School. Yeah, and what I'm kind of Crockett student were you, bro? Were you uh, um, one of those uh, mischievous kids? Man. Or were you like the nah, one No, brother, you... you know what? I'm, I'm an athlete. Yeah? I've been an athlete my whole life, man. Oh. Like, I'm I'm a competitive person. So you did the Little so, League thing in the uh, yeah, football? Oh, yeah, Little League football, baseball, huh? select baseball, flag football, uh, tackle, middle school, uh -huh. high school. Uh, it's crazy, man. Wow, my man. whole, my and whole how, high school career. You're, I mean, I, you know, I really enjoy watching the uh, you know football um, playoffs and stuff. A lot of strong teams out of the Austin mm -hmm. area, bro. Yeah, man. You know, you've got the uh, best team. Yeah, Lake, Lake Travis, Travis bro. West Lake. Man, those West yeah, Lake man. is amazing, bro. Yeah. Lake Travis, I saw them play and. Boy, man, they did a touch, a touchdown. They went across the field in like five plays, dude, in yeah, less bro. than a minute, dude. I mean, they were incredible. A lot of talent. So, did yeah, your school, that the, the what high school did you play with? Crockett. Bro? Crockett. We were terrible. <laughs> we were terrible, brother. Yeah. Because we were playing, uh, we were playing Westlake. Uh huh. We were playing like the teams you're saying, Lake yeah, Travis. Yeah. Uh, we played Bowie. So a lot of the guys that were on those teams, man, they they went on to. Uh, play NFL, for the Longhorns. college, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, man. I played against Christian Campbell, Earl Campbell's son. Uh -huh. I played against uh, Houston Street. He's a pitcher. Yeah. He uh, pitched in the major leagues. He was uh, he was Longhorn. Yeah. I played against uh, who's Michael Griffin, uh, Cedric Griffin. Some yeah. of the brothers. They went to Bowie. Yeah. I played against them when I was in high school. Wow. Man. So man, it was. That's crazy, crazy man. Athletes, man. And you know what? I've always wondered about, you know, because we have Valley teams and man, mm -hmm. they get up to the third level and mm -hmm. it's it's over. I mean, we get slaughtered or whatever, you know, but uh, in that area, you know, there's certain um, areas in the school district that they tend to excel consistently, you know, and I always thought, is it because there's more money in those districts or how was your district? Was your district... Uh, when you were going to high school there in Crockett, what do you think was the reason b behind not being able to compete with teams like that, bro?